there are tricks that I have practiced for literally three, four years before actually doing them in front of people. There is a particular brand of cards that is casino quality. They're perfectly made. They're the they're, they're same ones that you would find in a casino. So there's no, uh, the, the quality control is great. There's no bad edges or miscut cards and cards that uh, don't lie. The finish isn't messed up and all that. And there's one particular maker of those cards and they were made once and never to be made again. And I went and bought them all up because I want to make sure that I continue to use that brand that I'm comfortable with. Uh, bicycle rider backs. They're, they're these, uh, they're just really well made. Um, and then some other companies are just poorly. They're just, they don't have the same quality control. How many decks of cards do you have? I have about 12,000 decks. That behind me is only about three, 2,500, 3,000 decks. Will you run into situations where like, oh man, if it's an old deck or if it's not a well-made deck, throw no, it No, because I practice with those as well. So on that shelf is a variety of everything you're talking about behind me. Uh, uh, the, the very top is like collector decks. Under that is semi-used, new, but kind of used. Underneath that is moderately, like pretty worn in. And then underneath that is completely destroyed decks of cards. And I practice with all of those so that I'm never in a situation where somebody hands me an old deck and I say, oh, I can't perform with that. I've got experience practicing with older decks. But if you only did one type of deck, like I only work with brand new, if somebody gave you an old one, would that could that throw a magician off? No, 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 no. no. Well, most probably, but no, not because I just said I practice with old decks. I do my whole show with an old deck just to make sure that I can do it. How much will you generally have to practice a trick? Like how many hours would you say that you put into it? This before is going to sound ready? terrifying, but there are tricks that I have practiced for literally three, four years before actually doing them in front of people. Um, it's just, I, I can't mess up. My character doesn't allow for me to make mistakes, which means that it has to be, it has to be perfect before it comes out in front of people. Um, so I typically practice two, four, six hours a day, sometimes more, um, I take some days off from time to time, but it's a full-time job. I sit there and go over old tricks, moves. Uh, I'm constantly putting things online, uh, content, which means that I have to practice for that stuff as well. And then also I can watch my own content and see what do I need to improve? Like I didn't, I could have done that better or things like that. I'm assuming this has happened. So I'll ask this question in this way, but last time somebody figured it out. I can tell you it was June of 2009. <laughs> it was the last time somebody caught me red-handed. I was performing for two women at an event. And I turned to this woman and I did something amazing. I made a card appear in her hand, you know. And I turned to this woman and started to do the second half of the trick. And in the middle of that, this woman over here said something I won't repeat. Because I, I don't, I just won't repeat it. It's not that it could be bleeped out. She just said something sexual in nature. And it caught me a rough guard because it, she went over, over the line quite a bit. And I just turned back to her in disbelief. I said, what? And the woman on my left reached up and said, what is this? <laughs> and she pulled the card right out of my hand. So palming is a thing. You palm cards. Palming is a magic secret. You can secretly hide cards in your hand. And if you think about the design, I'm supposed to talk to this woman. And if I'm at, if I'm turned this way, nobody can see the thing. There's, there's nobody behind me. It's my body's here. So nobody can see this car. But because I turned back to address this woman, like, <laughs> oh, she wanna, got without it. Yeah, no hesitation. She reached in and said, what is this? And it, it was got great. It's I mean, I mean, what am I going to do? Get mad? You know, it, we all laughed. It's hilarious. Uh, so that was the last time that I got really busted hard like they're i have i got nothing